Hey guys, I figured for my weekly update, I would just focus on the garden this week. Um, as you can see, my tomatoes are doing well, and I actually have some peppers down here up front that have finally sprouted, so that's pretty awesome. Um, those are quarantine plants, and I just wanted to give an update. These are actually propagating. Look at that. Um, this one probably won't, the one with the long roots right there, probably won't do anything, unfortunately. But you have this one, whoops, that, this one, and this one. Those your baby succulents. I'm surprised I actually was able to do that. Alright, let's go out here. We've got cherry blossoms everywhere, thanks to the neighbor's cherry blossom tree, so it kind of looks like snow out here. Um, the red, um, sorry, rosy-sided days are still doing pretty good. Hopefully you guys can kind of see them, I'm trying to angle it. Um, they've gotten a little bigger, and it's funny because, uh, the boys, you can definitely see the flashes of red. Pretty good. Um, I've got a blue-green water algae bloom in this tank, um, well, not a tank, pond. Not sure what to do about that. I can't really do much. So, yeah. Pawpaws have still not sprouted. Um, but everything online says they take forever to sprout, so we'll see. We'll see. And there's crazy squirrels over there. Uh, strawberries are blooming. Um, I've pinched off some of the blooms just to kind of um, encourage more growth to go into the berry. Let's go down here. I know our yard is a mess. I'm going to have to clean it up later. <clears throat> the second layer of potatoes have sprouted. So, basically, uh, from what everyone said, how you're supposed to grow these. Um, you place the potato seeds, or seed potatoes, I should say, down in a layer of dirt. And once they sprout above that dirt, you put another layer of dirt. So this is the second and final layer of dirt and that helps encourage potato growth. So from here on out, they'll vine. Um, and I get to wait till they wilt out. Then over here, we have the snap peas. They are doing awesome. They've survived the frost. Everything survived the frost, so that's good. And they're growing pretty good. Um, they're starting to vine out. And yeah, and we have onions. Onions have sprouted. This one's really going to town over here. If y'all can see it, um, carrots are still doing well. And we've got some volunteers. I'm thinking these are pumpkins or some sort of melon. I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm leaving this space over here for the peppers. So we'll see. It's still my tomato bed, but as you can see, like I said, we got some volunteers, so another volunteer has sprouted. So another angle here. I'm just kind of like, well, let's see what goes on. And I got one last treat over here that I wanted to show you guys. So this is my native garden, um, where we have native plants, or at least we try. I believe this is cardinal flower right here. I've forgotten all the names. Um, I planted some black eyed Susan over here by the plant right there. I forgot what these guys are. If you want to tell me, be my guest. I believe these are the Miss Manners, and I think that's pokeweed growing back there. But I've forgotten a lot of these. And for whatever reason, the squirrels last year really liked. Um, digging out the blue labels that all of these guys came with so as you can see they're just everywhere and I wanted to save the best for last this is a Virginia bluebell now the five I planted this was the only one that sprouted very cool and they're very beautiful so I hope in the next few years more will spread. This should be an ideal location. It's pretty moist, very shaded. So we'll hope for the best. All right, well, that's the update.